Hello, it's Elaine C. Smith here from my lockdown, your lockdown. Um, and I decided that I was going to do this. I was going to read this story because I promised my wee granddaughter that I would read the Glasgow Gruffalo for her and her wee pals, right? And then we decided, well, why not share it? And then all the kids can have a look at, listen and look at it as well. Anyway, I, I would like to apologise for the fact that I may not be looking tip top since I've had to do my own hair, sorry, my sister's on lockdown as well, and makeup. Thankfully, I don't look as bad as Christine. No, yeah, give me a couple of weeks though, and the roots will be in and the moustache will have grown back and all that. Anyway, um, I decided I would do it now, put a wee bit of light out there in the world. I was asked a couple of years ago to write this book uh, by the wonderful James Robertson uh, called The Glasgow Gruffalo, which is, of course, the real version of the wonderful story uh, by Julia Donaldson, The Gruffalo. And uh, I've read it in loads and loads of different places all around Scotland, but I decided I would do it just for you. So apologies if there's a wee barney or anything in the middle of this, because my husband is actually operating the, the phone here. And, uh, you know, we're a weekend, so there may be a few crosswords, darling. Okay, doing it when he doesn't get it right. Anyway, here we go. Glasgow Gruffalo, read by... Elaine C. I need to put my specs on. Woman of a certain age, I'd never be able to see it. Okay, I'm ready. See the book? There's the cover. And there it is in there. And my wee granddaughter loves this because at the beginning it says, For Stella. Okay, so the Glasgow Gruffalo. There's the pictures there. I'll show you the pictures too. Okay, so you know I'm no make up. A gallus moose tainted daughter through a scary big wood. A fox clocked the moose, and the moose looked good. Hairy moose, don't rush off. More of a piece in my underground gaff. <laughs> no, you're all right, big man. I've got to go. I'm having a piece with a gruffalo. A gruffalo? What's a gruffalo? A gruffalo? How do you know no? <laughs> Look at this. He's got big hacket fangs and big minging claws and bouff and big gnashers in his big jolly jaws. So, uh, where are you meeting him? Doing with the rocks, and his favourite food is deep fried fox. <laughs> deep fried fox, is that right, me Tonto? <laughs> well, I'll see you later. And you legged it pronto. <laughs> Stupid big Egypt. Does he not know? There's no such thing as a gruffalo. <laughs> so, off went the moose in the scary big wood, and then an owl clocked the moose, and the moose looked good. Where you after, wee brun moose? Do you fancy some scran in my high-rise tree house? No, you're all right, old Jim. I'm pure brand new. I'm having my tea with a gruffalo the new. A gruffalo? What's a gruffalo? A gruffalo? How do you no know, know? He's got big bowly legs and pure hen toes <laughs> and a dirty big pluck in Andy's nose. Eh, uh, where are you meeting him? This barn here's the place, cos he pure loves water, and his favourite scran is curry dowel and batter. <gasps> curry dowel and batter? Oh, that's give me the bulk. I'm off, ski wee man, afore a choke. <laughs> Daft big bird. Does he not know? There's no such thing as a gruffalo. So on went the wee moose through the scary big wood and then a snake clocked the moose and the moose looked good, look at that, eh? <laughs> How's it going me? How's about having a wee take to eat in my stone log cabin? Cheers for the offer, Sammy Snake, know the day. A gruffalo asked first, so I'm on my way. A gruffalo? What's a gruffalo? A gruffalo? How do you not know? He's got huge orange peepers <laughs> and his tongue's all black and there's giant purple jaggies all on his back. Where are you meeting him, wee man? Right here at this loch and his favourite nosh is snake bake hoch. <gasps> snake bake hoch? <laughs> That's bigger than all. <laughs> Catch you later, wee barra. And Sammy Snake shot the crawl. 
Check that sleek it snake. He does they know. As me such hang as a gruffle. But who's this big bockle with a big minion claws? And the bows and big gnashers and his big jolly jaws. He's got big bowly legs and pure hen toes and a dirty big pluck at the end of his nose. He's got huge arms peepers and his tongue's all black. And us giant purple jaggies all at his back.